It's known as had countless invitations all over the world to speak. He has turned down most of them. Uh, we have here in Austin now maybe a hundred plus thousand people at the Interactive Festival who are the people who are building and creating uh, the next generation of the internet and they really want to hear from him what he has to say and I think this is a group he wants to influence. You know the tech community has been pretty disturbed by a lot of the stories that have arisen from the archives he leaked. Uh, they've been especially bothered by the kind of uh, sneaking into their sites, the sort of breaking into the private data center links, for example, at Google and Yahoo overseas. And they want to understand fully what has been happening to them, and they want to figure out what they can do about it. There are ways in which they're perfectly willing to cooperate with U.S. Uh, law enforcement, national security, there are warrants, there are uh, court-sanctioned programs, but they don't want to have it broken into behind their back. Uh, my relationship with Edward Snowden is as of a reporter to a source. Uh, we have had to uh, communicate much more clandestinely uh, than most in my career. Uh, we are in regular contact. Uh, I went to see him in Moscow in December. And that was the first time I'd met him. I'd had many, many, many hours of communications with him before that, and I'd never heard his voice other than uh, on a video that someone else shot. Then I got to spend a couple of days with him in Moscow, and uh, you know, we're we're in ongoing contact. <laughs> uh, I wish I knew what Edward Snowden's endgame is. I'm sure he wishes he knew. Uh, he would like to find asylum somewhere. He would like to be able to work out an understanding or an arrangement with the U.S. government that would enable him to return to this country. I have nothing to do with that. I am watching that as an observer. Uh, but most of all, what he told me in December and continues to tell me now, what I'm pretty sure he'll talk about uh, at, at the big exhibition hall, is uh, he's looking uh, for places where there can be reform where practices that he regards as overbroad and, uh, and as overly intrusive uh, can be changed technologically by market forces, by legislation, uh, by international pressure. So that's why he's talking to technologists and he's talking to the European Parliament and uh, the list goes on.